Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast, where we talk facts over feelings. I am fired up now. Fired up. Because I cannot believe what I just saw. Been going back and forth on this topic on Twitter and listening to the ridiculous comments by some people. I I'm just absolutely flabbergasted by it. But before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell, hit the like button, become a member. Also jump on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe over there to my other channel. Folks, 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 this cannot be real. This cannot be real. Oh, by the way, jump on board with BetUS. Link is in the description. Get your bonuses and all that good stuff. This can't be real. This cannot be real. Kelsey Plum, with what, six weeks until six, seven weeks till Unrivaled starts, decides, I'm not playing. She posted on Twitter or Instagram or wherever she posted it. And she tells the world she's not playing. Don't believe me? See for yourself. Let's make this big. I've decided to not take part in the inaugural season of Unrivaled in order to take some more time for myself this off season. I appreciate the league understanding and being so accommodating. I wish the league and all the players nothing but the best, and I'm excited to watch. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. This is a joke. This is a joke. This has to be one of the most unprofessional things I've ever seen or heard in professional sports. And before people say, oh, Unrivaled's not really a job. Bullshit. It's a job. Go ask all the investors who put in millions of dollars to fund this league. And ask them if this is a job. Ask them if this matters. Ask them everything they put into this thing. Look, if Unrivaled decided to let her go, cool. Unrivaled decided to let her go. But it doesn't change the fact this is unreal in terms of unprofessional. This is the same Kelsey Plum. The same Kelsey Plum who's been on record saying that WNBA players deserve the same breakdowns as NBA players, despite the fact the WNBA can't make any money. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. This is pathetic. Pathetic. So now the Unrivaled League needs three players. Or does this set off a domino effect of players to back out now? Because I'll be, I'll be real about it. I think that the Unrivaled League will be better off chopping three players and going back to 30. Or just leaving it at 33. There's no reason to add more trash can talent. Yeah, trash can. Scrubs. You're already inviting scrubs into this league. Look at this shit right now. This She was on a team that had Courtney Williams, Kayla McBride, Kate Martin, Alyssa Thomas, and Stephanie Dolson. That team was going to get run off the floor. I'm sorry. It was lacking talent. Completely lacking talent. I'm flabbergasted by this. But I'm like, I, I mean, I, I want to say I'm surprised, but I guess I can't be. Unrivaled, did you not have these people sign contracts? I have to presume with the people involved in this deal that 
Every one of these players have signed, has signed a contract. So Unrivaled just decided to let her out of her contract. That's insane. That's in fucking sane. You're relying on players to fulfill agreements and you let them go. And yeah, some people are speculating, oh, you know, she got divorced a year ago. So people get divorced every day. She played a season after being divorced. In fact, let's see when she got divorced specifically. Because I remember Darren Waller made a, made a rap song about her. She got divorced in April. They filed in April. We are in November, almost December. She filed before the season started. Where they filed before the season started. There's been three months since her season ended. And you're sitting here telling me that for a two-year marriage, I'm trying not to be insensitive. But a two-year marriage, that's like dating. That's like dating. That's not a marriage. If your marriage ends in two years, folks, it wasn't a marriage. It was a thing to do. I've been divorced. It sucks. It's not a pleasant experience. I wasn't married for two years. I was married for like over six. I'm since remarried. If you're looking to get out of a marriage inside of two years, your marriage was never solid to begin with. You were dating. You should never have gotten married to begin with. You were in love with the idea of being in love. You're in love with the idea of being married. You shouldn't have been married. But don't sit here and tell me after you made a commitment that you have personal shit to deal with. Really? The unrivaled league is free to do whatever it wants. But this is why women's basketball cannot be taken seriously at all, across the board, WNBA included. Explain to me how this is the same player whose teammate, De'Erica Hamby, was pregnant and played while pregnant. And she never opened her mouth to back up her teammate. Not one, there's not one time where there's a quote of her backing her teammate who was then shipped off and is now currently in a lawsuit against the Aces and the coach and Hammond and whatever, Mickey Hammond. <clears throat> what, was her, what was her empathy then? She wants it now. Clearly she wants it now. What was she to give it to her? Her teammate who had a baby. Newsflash, folks. Having a baby is probably the most traumatic experience to me. And I'm not a woman, but I saw what my wife has went through in the past year. I saw what my ex-wife went through twice. Having a baby is a very difficult thing for a woman. So many things happen. Far worse than a divorce on a two-year marriage. Now, I don't know nothing about her marriage. I don't know if there was physicality involved. That's not good. But a two-year marriage, y'all dated. Dierka Hamby had a baby. She played pregnant. She came back in time and played the full season the next year for the Sparks. Explain that. But I never heard you speak on her behalf. I never heard you say a word to support her. Get out of here. Unprofessional. This is unprofessional. You made a commitment. If you couldn't make, keep your commitment, you should have never made it. Or you should have waited. Because she's one of the first people to have committed to this league. She's one of the first people to say I'm playing. She's number six on their website. Her name is still there. But do not sit here and tell me you want equality to men in the NBA and want the same benefits of the men 
<clears throat> while you sit here and bail out. I get it. This isn't the WNBA. This is the league that is keeping y'all from flying to Europe or China to play in leagues to make money. But I guess the money wasn't enough for Chelsea Plum to keep her commitment. Now, clearly, Unrivaled has let her out. If she had, I have to think that she has a contract. I cannot imagine with the people involved in this and the amount of money they've invested into this that there's not a contract in place. These are pretty smart business people. And I'm not talking about the founders. I'm not talking about Brianna Stewart or, or uh, Nafisa Collier. I'm talking about the investors who put their money on it. Yeah, I, you, you can't convince me. If I'm an investor, I'm suing Kelsey Plum Blind. Screw that shit. <clears throat> what, what, that, what in the world is Unrivaled supposed to do at this point? They still have two empty spots. Now three. Sabrina has said no. Caitlin Clark has said no. Asia Wilson has said no. Kelsey Mitchell has said no. Chuck Kennedy Carter has said no. Your last few players are backups. Ray Burrell's a backup in the WNBA. Kate Martin's a backup. Lexi Hall's a role player. What are we talking about, folks? This is next level unprofessional. What is Un Unraveled supposed to do now? Go find three more backups? Because clearly the stars don't want to play. Half of this league is not top 30. Half of it. <clears throat> Half of these players are not top 30. So now you lost a top 20 player from your league, an Olympian. And you're going to replace her with who? 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 This is hot garbage. And I think that the Unrivaled League allowing her to just leave, folks, that sets a precedent that they did not want to set. Now, any one of these players can say, you know what? Shit, I'm going through some stuff. I don't want to play. What do you do? Do you say no? Do you say no? You just told Kelsey Plum it's okay. Do players now start looking at this situation here because Caitlin Clark has now said no? Boom. <clears throat> That they may back out themselves. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sitting here saying it's going to happen. That players will start backing out. I don't think they. They. I don't know. Could they? Sure. My thing. I, I don't know. Most of them are there for the money. Because it's not for the basketball. It's not for the basketball at all. But this crap is a joke. This crap's a joke. This is ridiculous. I can only presume it's over her divorce. I, mean, I don't know. Are there other, quite frankly, folks, I don't care. When you get divorced, you don't just stop working. People get divorced every day. They don't stop working because they get divorced. In fact, most people put more of their energy into their jobs because of a divorce especially if they don't have children. That focuses them on what they need to do. So again, I don't know. I'm not, I can't, I, that's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe she's seen that video enough of Angela Wilson basically calling her a clown and calling her a scrub and saying the only reason she's in the WNBA is because she's white. Maybe, maybe that bothers her. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. You signed, you committed. This isn't like a college kid committing to three different schools while they're in high school for, for, for football or basketball or whatever. This is a professional athlete. What standard do we hold them to? WNBA players, what, what are we going to do now, next? I don't feel like playing, so I'm not going to play. 
Can you imagine? Can you imagine if Asia Wilson comes out in May and says, or, or April and says, you know what? I just don't feel like playing this year. You think the Las Vegas Aces are going to let her out of her contract? You think the Las Vegas Aces are going to let her just not play? Not on your life. Not on your life. Imagine if Caitlin Clark did that. She would never do that. But imagine if Caitlin Clark said, shit, I don't feel like playing this year. The millions and millions and millions of dollars lost because Caitlin Clark decided not to play? <clears throat> I, I, this is insane. I know there was a situation where Diana Prost didn't play for a year or whatever, but overall, this is nuts. This is a bad look. Unrivaled looks stupid. They look like they're running a shit show over there, and people can disagree and sit here and say they're being empathetic. I'm waiting for Kelsey Plum's empathy towards De'Erica Hamby. I'm waiting for it. You, you made a commitment. You should uphold your commitment. You're six weeks out. Now they need three more players. And they're struggling to get two. Fuck out of here, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think this is as unprofessional as something I've ever seen from a professional athlete. It's crazy. I've never seen it. Shocked. Shocked, but not. Because I know that Unrivaled has contracts. They have to. And if they don't, well, then they're a bunch of flipping, flipping idiots. But I'm sure they do. All that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell. Like, pound the like button. Become a member of Rudy's Rant. Uh, subscribe to Rudy's Rant. Become a member of our of this channel here. Things that make you go, hmm, God, uh, unbelievable. So Rudy's Rant, facts over feelings. Come on now.